Um, start off with like a single line that's going diagonally down your paper. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create forms to that kind of attach to the line. So I'm kind of thinking of like, like a leaf type shape, but maybe a bit more abstract than that. So they might be like kind of long and skinny like that. They might be more kind of fat and that sort of shape. It doesn't really matter, you can choose. But you can see how I'm kind of coming back to this line here. And then, so all the lines are sort of leaning in back towards the start point here. It doesn't have to be perfectly lined up either, it can be just sort of... Like that. Okay. I think I'm just going to flip the whole thing around as well. And bring it this way. Um, now what I'm thinking for this is, we're going to do, we're going to kind of turn this into an abstract artwork. But we're going to try and keep the directional flow going down, down this, the body, down the direction, okay? So everything that we do is going to kind of flow all the way down this way, and we're going to be smudging down all the way down as well. So you can decide whether you want to use like a bunch of different colors or whether you want to try and stick to a, sh a small color range. Um, it's up to you. I think... I'm going to go sort of, I might actually, I'm quite keen on purple, so I might kind of go blue, red, pink, and probably use a bit of white as well. So that'll be my kind of main, my main, I might end up using a bit of light blue, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to start off with the first leaf, and um, I'm just going to start off by adding some lines using the corner like this now you guys can follow along with me you can do it just like I do it if you want to but I want you to feel free to sort of you know flow with it and just make it your own okay so the the, the general principle is that as we go down here, we're going to be smudging down and down the line, but we're also going to be adding some color around too. So it doesn't matter if your smudging goes outside of the, the frame. Um, yeah. And this does end up, it ends up looking like this is quite a kind of leafy type thing, which is why I avoided doing green. but. It doesn't matter if it looks more realistic like leaf form then that's fine if it looks more abstract and that's fine too um all right i think what i'll do is i'm gonna um i might just show you a little bit how to blend colors because i don't have a purple in my set so in order to make purple what i need to do is i need to lay down a bit of blue first and just like painting you know that red and blue is going to make purple. So I'm going to just add some red over the top of my blue. And I'm going to use my finger to smudge it like that. And I, I, as I suspected, I needed some white in there to actually help it to blend. So a bit of white and that we should start to get some nice purples. Yeah, there we go. That's a bit better, eh?
So just work your way down each leaf, trying to sort of blend together the colors that you've chosen. Um, you can decide to use your finger mostly for the smudging or you can use the cotton bud if you want to make it quite detailed. 